in the previous lecture, uh, lecture six, uh, we we had studied uh, this Genesis five, Genesis five stories. Okay, meaning from the fall of Adam to uh, Noah, we we came up with a chart. Okay, uh, according to the chart, we can see a Enoch. Enoch was born. Enoch was born from the time of fall of Adam to 622 years later. From the fall of Adam, okay, a, to the birth of Enoch, according to the chart, 622. Okay, I just want to review briefly. And also, Noah was born What year Noah was born? From the fall of Adam to birth of Noah. 1056. Okay. Now, then flood took place. How old Noah was? when flood took place, 600 years old. According to here, Genesis chapter 7, verses 6 and 11. So that means from the fall of Adam to birth, uh, the, the flood was 1,656. Are you, are you coming along with me? Okay, now, today we will study after the fall, after the flood, all the way to Abraham. Okay, after the flood. Now, as you know, after the flood, Noah had three sons. Okay, first son was Shem, and Ham and Japheth. Okay. In Genesis chapter 10, verse 1. In Genesis, Genesis chapter 10, verse 1 said, three sons, Shem and Ham and Japheth. Okay. Now, out of the three sons, Jesus will be born out of Shem line. Out of Shem line. So Jesus will be born out of Shem line. Okay, Shem. So the Bible, Bible uh, recorded from Shem to Abraham genealogy. Okay. So from here, from Shem to Abraham, genealogy. That is here in Genesis 11, verses 10 through 26. Okay, that's why here we have two main genealogy recorded in the chapter 5, Genesis, and chapter 11, Genesis. Those two genealogy give us good information, okay, uh, in understanding the Bible and history of the Bible. Now today, we will continue study the genealogy from Shem to Abraham. Meaning, Abraham is the, is the descendant of whom? 
Shem, not Ham. See, Bible explains Shem, he is the ancestor of Asian, Asian people, Asians. Now, Ham is the ancestors of Africans, according to, according to chapter 10, Genesis. So as we read all the record of the peoples, we can see uh, Ham is the father of Africans. And Japhet, Yapet, Japhet was the Europeans. So you can see three, three sons of Noah were the ancestors for Asians and, and Africans and Europeans. Okay? Now, see, now Jesus happens to be Asian. Jesus happen, happens to be a Asians. Now, here, with that in your mind, see, now, we, we came up with a chart recorded here in Genesis 11, verses 10 through 26. See, from the Shem here, from the Shem. From the Shem, so Shem is 11th generation from Adam. Okay, Shem is 11th generation from Adam. Now, Shem, see, the year of birth after the fall of Adam, we say 1,558. Uh, Adam was 500 years old, Shem was born. Now, likewise, we will see, we will see here, 20th son, Abraham, he was born, he was born 1,948 years after the fall of Adam. You see, after the, see now here is 1, 1,948 years after, after the fall of Adam. Adam. Are you with me? So now we can see, according to genealogy in Genesis chapter 5 and genealogy here in Genesis chapter 11 here, we can figure out, according to the numbers recorded we can figure out Enoch was born 622 after the fall of Adam. And Noah was born 1056 years after the fall of Adam. Okay. Now, flood took place 1656 after the fall of Adam. And Abraham was born, okay. 1,948 years after from the fall of Adam, okay? The figure was there in the chart. So you would ask me, Pastor Huang, where you came up with this 1948? Then I am showing this out of the table. You should uh, figure out all this table by your own self, okay? When you go back home. That way, you can teach your people. Yes, no? Yeah. I figured out all this and providing to you. Okay? Now here, you see, according to this According to this chart, okay, during this time, after the flood, after the flood, 
There are some characteristics. So would you write down the characteristics after the flood? Now, number one is this. Age. Age dropped down. After the flood, okay, age dropped down. You can see prior to the flood, people used to live up to near how many years? Thousand years. Okay. Now you notice that after the flood, you can you notice the people's age here. People's age. All of a sudden, you can see Shem died at 600. Okay? Now, then Shem's son, okay, Arparshat, okay, died in 438. It dropped from 600,000 to 600 and 400. And Shelah, his son, 400. 400. Then Peleg, 200. Can you see that? And Leu and Shuruk, all these, 200. And all of a sudden, Nahor, 140. And Terah, 200. Abraham, 175. Can you see the ages got dropped down? Okay? After the flood. So I just write down here, age dropped down to 600, 400, 200, even 100. Uh, Abraham died at 175. Even later, Moses died at 120. Even King David died at 70. You see? Here is Abraham, Moses, and David. Abraham 175, Moses 120, David 70. You see? So the, that flood was the turning point. Okay? Turning point. to the present time circumstances. See, now present time, Moses said this in, Moses said in Psalm 90 verse, verse 4 says what? We, we can live up to 70, at most 80 years old. Moses said that in Psalm 90 verse 4. Now, that was the after the flood, okay? Characteristics of after the, after the flood. Now, age dropped down and second characteristics. And food, prior to the flood, what kind of food they ate? Eh? They were vegetarians. Genesis 3, 316 to around 18. Vegetarians, farmers. But after the, after the flood, what happened? In Genesis 9, 3 and 4. You can see they began to eat meat, meat eating. Okay, because of the meat eating, our ages are coming down. Okay, so don't take too much meat. Meat 
causes reducing your age. Vegetable would be better based on what Bible said here. Okay? So after the flood, ages got down. Now, food changes to meat, meat eating. So, living conditions, living conditions down. Living conditions got down. As a result, people's longevity got down. See, we will be living in this condition, okay, until when? Until second coming of Jesus. We will be living in this kind of conditions, okay, until the second coming of Jesus. Okay, now, after the second coming, now, here, Millennium Kingdom, okay, will appear before us. This this Millennium Kingdom lifestyle would be the same as what? Same as this this lifestyle. So we are going back to prior to. Noah's flood. Are you with me? Hmm? Now, after, after the Millennium Kingdom, we will go back to eternity, which is before the fall of Adam. Okay? So we will go back to fall of Adam time right here. This period, Bible said, is Genesis 1 and Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. They call it this period. Okay? Now over here, this period, this is what? Revelation chapter 21 and 22. So first two chapters of the Bible and last two chapters of the Bible, okay? <laughs> that eternity story, okay? Now, remaining chapters such as what? From here, Genesis chapter 3, all the way to, this is what? Chap remaining, it's a Revelation chapter 20. So, 99% of Bible content, starting Genesis chapter 3, all the way to Revelation 20, okay? That story actually is the Bible story, okay? That means this story is this world story, this world. How many years this world? 7,000 years this world story. That's a Bible story. So we, we call this year, we call, is what? There's a, the creation purpose school. That's 7,000 years is the school of creation purpose. That's a school. Okay. <laughs> Who is the principal? Eh? Principal is is it Jesus? Who is the vice principal? 
Satan. Satan is vice principal. Who are st students? Students are Christians, God's children. We are students. There are two kinds of teachers. Teachers. Two kinds of teachers. One is good teacher. Good teacher would be, good teacher would be angels. Good angels. Good angels. Okay. Bad teachers are Bad teachers and devils, demons, devils and demons, and one more, Satan children, Satan children, they are bad teachers for us. Okay, so between, between God's children and Satan's children, who are more in terms of numbers? Huh? Satan's children are more. Not only that, they are more powerful. Okay, numbers are more, they are more powerful that was God's design. God gave them all money and power and government authority. So all rich people are Satan children. We are under them. Controlled by them and dominated by them, some many times persecuted by them and hatred by them, discriminated by them. Why? We are, we are students. Students means what? Students means Students means we are temporal visitors. We are temporal uh, visitors. Why? Our home is where? Our home is above paradise. Our home. We are temporal visitors here to, to be trained, to be trained, to be trained, trained what? To be trained what? To be trained what? To be trained how? How important? How important the purpose of creation, creation purpose. The God dropped us down to this wall, okay, to learn, okay, to learn how important the creation purpose would be. So we are here as students, okay, to practice, to learn the creation purpose. So God used Satan, okay. He, he has been using Satan and his, his followers uh, to teach us that purpose. So, Write down it. Whenever, 
that God appointed Israel, Israelis, Abraham's children, as an as an drama drama actor, drama actor on on the stage in movie stage, drama stage, and teaching us. Okay. In their history, that when Israel violated creation purpose, then Jesus would say, "I want to punish you." So they violated it, and God raised up Assyrian, Babylonians, even Romans to persecute them. This is the way God taught us out of the history of Israel. Okay, how important, how crucial the creation purpose. See, when when they violated, okay, creation purpose. That means that we honor, we fear of the Lord, we respect the Lord Jesus. If you do not. And you worship Babylonian gods and Christian gods together, worshiping two masters. Then I'm going to punish you. So Israelites practiced it. it showed us in in the uh, in the drama stage, okay, where they violated that creation purpose. So God raised up. Assyrian Empire and Babylonian Empire, Roman Empire, and gave them severe punishment. Okay, Paul said, "This is the shadow. This is the this is a lesson uh, from Israelites. Okay, for us to learn how important the creation purpose. So this is the that." Seven thousand years is what the the creation purpose school. It was God's design. Okay, so he in the school he put two big pictures. First thousand years. Okay, and this this first thousand years because of the violating creation purpose, God raised up flood. Okay, so because of the after the flood, ages cut down, people got in many many difficult you know life experiences all the way. Then he said Jesus will come back. Okay, then he will restore the previous thousand years. Then after that. He will close down creation proper school, no more school. Okay, then he will restore the original, original eternity. So actually, as I say many times, actually, actually, this is seven thousand years is a, is what. I would say all the time that this is a dot in in comparison with this eternity. Okay, dot in the eyes of God. Okay, now within that dot, dot means it's seven thousand years. Within the dot, within the dot. We live in where? We live seventy or eighty years. Therefore, within a dot, we are we are just like we are dust. You and me are dust in the eyes of God. That's why James said that. We are like uh, fog. We are like a fog. 
folk. Okay, James said. And Peter and Paul said we are uh, visitors. We are, they say, pilgrims. He said in 1 Peter 2.11, even Hebrews 11.13, he said, we are pilgrims and visitors and folks. James 5.13 said, James said, Are you with me? Okay. To, to teach us this. Now, Bible, Bible showed us, okay, the flood, and after the flood, our ages, our living conditions got worse and worse and worse. Okay, until when? Until second coming of Jesus. And after the second coming, then Millennium Kingdom, which is equivalent to prior to the flood. So we are near the, near the second coming of Jesus. This is a very crucial period. Okay. So we, our job is this, to tell people this, this principle, okay, that is our job and your job. Teach them this principle and claiming that his coming is very near. Okay? Therefore, we have to repent ourselves and we accept Jesus as our Lord who is uh, who is the principal of this creation purpose school and soon this world will be closed. Soon. Then we will go back to eternity and all Satan children and Satan will be in the, the lake of fire. That Bible said, Lake of Fire Bible said, Revelation 20 verse 10 said, Satan and his, his followers, Satan and devils and demons will be in the Lake of Fire. Then Jesus said that, then Eleven to fifteen said this. Revelation chapter twenty, eleven to fifteen said, then after Jesus put Satan and devils and demons into the lake of fire, then he said that he will have the white throne judgment. And for for the devils, Satan's children, uh, after the judgment. He will have all Satan children, okay, casting down to the lake of fire. That is right here in Revelation chapter 20, 11 through 15. So all this here, these bad teachers, okay, will be in the lake of fire. That's the scenario. To understand all this scenario, okay, we have to understand this Adam to Noah genealogy, okay, and also from the Noah to Abraham genealogy. Got it? So today, we just go through uh, this very crucial uh, biblical teachings. I hope you understand this. 
for God's glory. Please share with as many people as possible for his glory. Then he will, he will make you the bridal candidate. Okay? For the bridal ceremony. May every one of us who are joining this ministry and watching these teachings be part of that bridal community. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.